In this subsection, we will be giving an overview of the Event Reports module of DHIS2. We will describe its key features and will give a demonstration of how to view data using these reports. The overall objective of this session is to use the DHIS2 Event Reports app to retrieve some data from Training Land. Detailed objectives are to be able to describe the Event Report app interface to understand how to create both a list of events and aggregate tables using event reports, to apply legends to create categories for data, and explain how to select data items and use filters, and to illustrate the difference in aggregation types of event data. The Event Reports app enables analysis of events in two fashions. One being a pivot table style analysis with aggregated values of events, and the other being a line list of events. It's important to note that an event report is always based on a program. You can do analysis based on a range of dimensions. Each dimension can have a corresponding filter, and dimensions can be selected from the left side menu and includes data elements, periods, and organization units. In this session, we will be using the Malaria Case Management Program to perform event analysis. I'm going to quickly highlight the two main tasks for this demo. The first task is to create an individual event overview of malaria cases. We will be using the program Malaria Case Management, the data items age, sex, and treatment outcome, the period of 2019, and the organization unit is Training Land. The second main task is to create an aggregate table of malaria cases using the program Malaria Case Management, the data elements, age, condition of patient, and malaria species type, with the period of 2019 and the organization unit of animal region. Let's move ahead with a demonstration of how this tool can be put into action. There are two ways you can get to the Event Reports app from the home page. Either by searching for the Event Reports app in the Search Apps field, or by finding a particular event report of interest in a dashboard, clicking on the horizontal ellipses in the top right corner of the report box, and selecting the option, Open an Event Reports app. This will load the specific event report in the application when it opens. Now that we are in the app, let's review the interface. At the very top left corner of the Criteria Selection column, we can see the first option to select is the Table Style. This option allows you to either select a pivot table, which will aggregate the event data, or a line list, which will give you a list of events as the name indicates. In the example that we are reviewing, we can see that the line list has been selected as the table style. And as a result, a list of cases is being shown in the event report. The second option available is the output type which can either be event or enrollment. Enrollments apply to tracker programs under certain circumstances. However, since we are only interested in event programs in this demonstration, we will always select the option events. Next, we can see the data selection table where we choose the program. And if the program is a tracker program, we will also have the option to select the program stage two. Since it's an event program and doesn't have stages, the stage is automatically populated with the program name. You can see that the selected data items reflect the data that have appeared on our line list. As we are working with events, each individual line reflects the dimensions of the event that we have selected. If I were to add the data item condition of patient and update the report, 
we can see that this data item now also appears in the line list. The next tab is the period. And here we have the option to select either the fixed and relative period, which is the same period you get in the aggregate pivot table app, or the start and end dates. The start and end dates are specific to tracker and event programs. They allow you to select exact dates to filter events based on the report date that was entered during event or tracker capture. In this example, 2019 has been selected. So the data in the line list belongs to any event that was reported in 2019. If you were to add 2020 by choosing a fixed yearly period and update the report, the line list would now include data from both 2019 and 2020. Lastly, the Organization Unit Selection tab is where we can select the organization units we would like to view in the report. With Training Land highlighted, the events in the line list are from all of Training Land. We can select Animal Region and update the report. Now we will only see events belonging to Animal Region. Let's stop here so you have a chance to complete the activity as I have just shown. It's a good opportunity to use the skills learned in this video.